What's up guys, I am back and as amazing as iOS 15 is, there still are a lot of bugs and glitches in the update. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can downgrade from iOS 15 to iOS 14 without losing any data. So the first part of the process is making sure you remove the beta profile for iOS 15. So remove it and restart your iPhone and from here on, make sure that Find My iPhone is also turned off. This is a crucial part of the process so make sure Find My iPhone is turned off and from here on, simply jump onto a computer and open up iTunes. Now make sure your iPhone is connected to the computer and as you guys can see, I am running iOS 15.0. This is the first developer beta for iOS 15. So the first part of the process is making sure you take a full backup of your iPhone on the computer. Now once the backup is complete, simply go to any website that allows you to download the latest IPSW for iPhone. I will link one of them in the description. So go there, select iPhone and choose your iPhone model from here and in there, Make sure to download the signed IPSW for iOS 14.6. It can be any iOS in the future, but make sure to get the signed version and not one of the red ones because these are not signed and the process will fail on these. So in this case, it is 14.6. In future, it could be 14.7. So make sure to get the signed IPSW. Simply download it and keep it somewhere you can find it easily. Now from here on, you have two methods. Basically, you can select check for update or restore. Then check for update. If you select your own IPSW, the process can fail and basically put your phone in boot loop and Apple logo. So that is going to be a really tiring process and it doesn't work always. So I recommend restoring your iPhone and then basically recovering all your data from that backup you took. So from here on, simply click on option on Mac and click on restore. Or if you have Windows, simply click on shift and click on restore. So from here on, simply select the IPSW you just downloaded and open it to run the process and your iPhone will be restored back to iOS 14.6 and all your data will be gone by now. Now you can easily recover all of that using the backup we took but here is the caveat and the hard point of the process because you have to make some changes to the backup itself. So I'm going to quickly show you the process of Mac and I will write all the steps of Windows as well in the description. So go to Finder and go to Folder, write this down in there and simply click on Go. Now in here, this is the backup we took so open it up and scroll to the bottom until you find info.plist. So right click and click on open with and make sure you open it with the text edit for the Mac. So open it up and we have all the stuff right in here. So from here on click on command plus F and simply type in product in here and scroll down and you see these three highlighted. So you will find 15.0 in the bottom right here. Simply click on it and change it to 14.0 and you are done. So save this and the reason we did this is because Apple doesn't want us to use backup from higher iOS versions on the lower ones. So basically you cannot use 15.0 backups on 14.0. So we have to change this to make sure that the backup works. So once again, go back to iTunes and mm -hmm. click on restore backup. So from here on, simply select the backup we just took, the one we also changed as well. So click on restore and enter the password and make sure the backup is completely restored on your iPhone and all the data will be recovered with this process. Now again, the process where we simply use the update one also works for the most part, but that can actually lead up to boot loop and all of that. But in that process, you don't have to do any of this backup stuff. So that is pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up because a lot of iOS 15 content is coming really soon. So stay tuned. Until then, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.